We are caring. We are compassionate. We are your neighbors. We are here. We are faith. Curtis Ennis, well, your Bulldogs cannot catch a break. It seems uh, these tough games uh, that could go either way. Uh, what was uh, the Nakona game Friday night, 34-27, but <laughs> a couple of uh, touchdown uh, plays called back. Um, you know, how do you catch a break? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I thought our kids played hard. Uh, I thought they played smart and uh, played together. And uh, like I said, Nakona came out and took the run away from us and uh, made us – pretty much made us pass the ball if we were going to move it. And uh, uh, our quarterback, Trevor Hardy, had a great game. Receivers did a great job of uh, running great routes and getting open. And uh, he was on fire connecting with them. Uh, I thought our offensive line had their best game of the year as far as pass blocking. Uh, gave him lots of time to throw the ball. Uh, like I said, he almost is right at 60% on his completions for the game. Uh, broke a couple of school records on uh, completions with 19. Uh, broke the school record on yardage with 270. Uh, and like I said, it was tough because I uh, had a touchdown pass called back that uh, said he was cross line of scrimmage. Uh, on film revealed that he wasn't. You know, that was a 40 yard touchdown pass that would have tied it up 28 28 with six minutes to go. And, uh, and then, like I said, we had one earlier in the game called back. Uh, you know, like he said, on a, on a penalty that we couldn't find in the film. So, like I said, it's, it's just been tough. But like I said, we just got to. Uh, take it as it is and just move on and uh, get the kids keep playing hard. When you guys perform at that level, uh, as you're describing, and then to lose the ball game, as you, you know, it has to deflate them. You know, how do you turn those kids around in, in a week of practice? Well, like I said, for the most part, uh, you know, the, the kids see that, you know, they're, they are doing things right. And uh, like I said, we just, we just keep doing what we're doing and uh, just keep practicing harder. And uh, like I said, that's all we can do. Uh, like I said, we've got to do some work on defense, though. Uh, we're, we're giving up too many yards rushing, and we're giving up too many points. And uh, we'll focus on that uh, and just try to clean some things up, and, uh, and hopefully we'll catch a break here. All right, exactly. Well, I mean, you know, uh, you, your kids are learning some real-world lessons, uh, and that's, that's part of what this game's about, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's what football teaches us, or really any sport teaches you. And that's what we're trying to get them to learn through athletics is, you know, deal with adversity. And, uh, you know, there's going to be bosses you like and bosses you don't <laughs> like. And, uh, and like I said, how are you going to deal with it? And so we're just trying to deal with it in a positive manner uh, and, and, you know, and just tell the kids, hey, just, let's just move on. Who do you have coming up and set that game up for us? Uh, we got Holiday coming up. Uh, they're the top-ranked team in our district. And so, like I said, we, the schedule didn't do us any favors with this week. Uh, and um, so – It'll be a very, very tough game. We got them here at home. Uh, so they got a real good quarterback, uh, a good, big, huge offensive line. Defensively, they, they, uh, they're they everywhere. They got a lot of team speed. So uh, it's going to be a very difficult ball game for us. Maybe kids have something extra to prove. Uh, best of luck to you on Friday night. All right. Thank you. Okay, a couple of standout Bulldogs. We want to talk to these guys, introduce them. Uh, we got Logan Ennis and Ty McDaniel. All right, step over just a little bit long right there. Logan, what do you play? I play wide receiver and corner. And you? Wide receiver and corner. Disappointing, <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, disappointing loss was visiting with Coach about it. A game could have gone your way easily. Uh, some really tough calls in the game. Uh, how do you come back from a game like that? I just want to go back to practice, get better work on the little stuff that we did wrong. We didn't really do that much wrong, but just one, two, three things, you know, just could have gone our way. Yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. From your perspective. I think that um, we just need to come back together as a team and work harder. Right. You know, you got a week of practice coming up here. Uh, another tough uh, matchup. Again, was visiting with Coach about it. Uh, you, you're playing the district uh, uh, leader. Uh, coming up, uh, do you guys maybe have something extra to prove? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we kind of just need to come together and work harder to see what we can do against them. How do you prepare for that that, that upcoming game, mentally and otherwise? I was like, we need to get, like, more discipline on the field, a lot more discipline. They're beatable. They're really beatable if we play hard. 
Okay, super. How long have you been playing football? Uh, since Pee Wee. And you? Since midget football. Start you guys young out here uh, in these parts. Uh, I hear that a lot. Of all of the experience you've had playing football before high school and now in, the, in your high school experience, what's the one thing, if you had to pick one thing, uh, that might be your favorite aspect of uh, what you've experienced? Uh, just catching the ball in the touchdown after a – Great feeling, huh? Great feeling, yeah. yeah. How about you? I used to be quarterback at Chico. I get to run the ball and I get to have a lot of touchdowns. We were really good back in the day. <laughs> Right. Chico's having a tough time right now. You following them? Uh, I want them to win. They had two really hard games. They're two leaders in district. and then They're, they're still, what, 4-3 what, on the season, I think, and maybe 2-0 in district or something like that. Yeah. So, But anyway, what's the least favorite thing about football? Probably having my dad as a coach. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? He's kind of on me a lot lately. And how about you? Uh, probably getting hit in the head. That that's the worst thing. I like everything about football. I hate getting hit in the head. You've been you've been hurt bad. Uh, I almost got a concussion, I guess. But does that explain why none of your answers make sense? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, best of luck to you guys. Turn this thing around. Thank you. Uh -huh.